Merry Christmas, and welcome back to day two of our 12 days of Christmas. Today's reading comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verses 22 through 24. When the time came for the purification rites required by the law of Moses, Joseph and Mary took him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every firstborn male is to be consecrated to the Lord and to offer a sacrifice in keeping with what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of doves or two young pigeons. In the Gospel of Luke, this story is set against the hospitality extended to the couple when they arrived in Bethlehem. The visit to the temple serves as another witness to the presence of the peace of God. Having experienced welcome and reception by their community, Mary and Joseph obediently respond as the children of God who are as comfortable in the house of God as they have been made to feel in the guest room of their distant relatives. Now, throughout this narrative, we learn the reciprocal nature of Jesus' observance of the law. This background is significant to scholars. They believe that it establishes that Jesus does not abandon his parents' teaching, but in fact fulfills all that is required of the law. The tension Jesus has with the law is never that of an outsider, but as one who has faithfully observed the divine expectations of the Jewish people. In the Gospel of Luke, Luke depicts a temple open to all that seek the presence of God. What a glorious picture that is. This is a distinguishing between pausing to worship and honor God from practices that oppress and dishonor others. My question today is how can we live into Christ's teachings about being open to all so that all might experience the presence of God. Will you pray with me? Almighty God, we give you thanks for this second day of Christmas. We thank you for coming to fulfill the law, Lord, because we alone never could. We are broken and sinful, and we will always fall short of your glory, and yet you still chose to send Jesus to earth to save us, to purify us of our sins. And on this day, we give you thanks and we ask you to help us to be your presence in the world. Amen. Thank you, my friends. Have a wonderful day.